today's video is going to be a recipe DIY slash collab with the Mommy YouTube Meetup group. It's a private group in Facebook where everybody participates in something and today's topic is Crocktober. For the whole month of October there's going to be one or two recipes throughout the days to cover the whole month of October. I got the day 29th. So, uh, and since Halloween is like tomorrow, or I didn't do any Halloween thing, but Croctober is about a recipe that is done completely and uniquely and only with a crock pot. So, I will teach you how to do dulce de leche, or like salty, sweet and salty caramel, or salty caramel, and um, you would only need one, one ingredient for this, and it's very easy, it just takes a little bit of time to do so, because that's the purpose of a crock pot. It actually takes a little bit of time to cooking, but they cook really well. So the only thing that you will need is condensed milk. I have here the Nestle one, not sponsored at all. This is sweetened condensed milk. I also got this other one from Family Delight, which I got this at the dollar store, like the 99 cent store. And they also had this tiny one. I thought it would be uh, funny to do this tiny one as well. You can do these two ways you can actually just leave leave it in the cans that you have it the only thing different is i don't have like a pop-up thing and i actually have to use a can opener like on this one i do have a popular thing but i will uh transfer it in this um glass jars and i got these at target they were in sale they were 49 but they were in sale they had like 20 or something percent off so i paid 440 for them and they're like four and they're the the bowl mason jars i guess pinch jars and they look like this they're tiny and i thought it will look nicer if i have my dulce de leche in one of these than actually have it in a can and i actually thought like could give one to my mom so yeah, let's get to doing and showing you the simplicity of this recipe and the deliciousness of it. You can eat it with sliced apples or graham crackers or spread it in a pan dulce or a toasted bread. Yum, 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 yum. Drink it with your coffee. Delicious. So let's get to doing it right now. Here we have our stuff. My crock pot. Hopefully you guys could see my crock pot, my mason jars or ball jars, um, my my condensed milk, and ready to go. Um, if you really don't want to put it in your um, glass jar, you can absolutely just put it like that. The only difference would be is that you t you would have to take off the paper, take off this paper, and then. Uh, like completely submerge uh, your things in here but since I'm going to be fancy I'm going to use this jars so the only thing that we do is like put our condensed milk in one of these jars instead of um, having it on the whoop, having them on the actual aluminium cans over here so let's get to them let me wash it and then i'll be right back all right so we're just going to simply open our cans and then transfer our milk to our jars now that we have um filled our jars with our condensed milk we're going to close our jars and make sure that it's tightly, tightly closed. And we're just going to put it in our crock pot. So, since mine is kind of weird, I knew that only uh, three jars like this would fit in here, hopefully. Um, so that's why I only have three. Oh my gosh, I don't think three will fit in here. Only two. Well, I guess I can make two and then we'll make the rest of it. And then to show you just how the can works, that's why I got this tiny one. And remember, you simply take off the paper or the packaging, whatever it is that they have uh, of the can. 
and put it in there without the paper and that's it now we make sure that you put enough water to like sort of like submerge the cans in there or the jars all the way to the top like this uh, that's about that's about it I think there we go just want to make sure they're completely tied up there it is completely submerged into the water we close our crock pot this thing they have it for in case for traveling then they close it um, that you're able to close it but you don't necessarily need to do that while you're cooking you will put it on high uh, for eight hours put your timer for eight hours if you want your cajeta to be a darker color you can leave it for 10 hours instead of eight so we're gonna wait eight hours and see if our cajeta like our condensed milk becomes cajeta so let's wait on that, shall we? place you on a right part it is the next day already because I kind of did my cajeta kind of late in the night so I woke up at 1 in the morning you probably already saw this footage sorry about that and um, that's when I took it out so now we have our cajeta here you see that the milk turned completely um, brown because that's how the cajeta should be so you get to open your cajeta that's how it looks inside. Look at that. Mm. This one's for me, so you can scoop it up with a spoon or just scoop it with your finger. It got like like hard. Oh my god. Delicious. Very, very delicious. I do recommend for you to do this. You can also do them for Thanksgiving, Christmas presents, they come out really nice. And here is a little can that you see. Um, it has stuff like that. And then you just open it. I'm going to show you. And you can see this one has like just one little lid. But hopefully you guys could see. It's like brown inside. So I'm going to have to open it with an app. And a can opener but you can see that you can obviously do them perfectly fine on the can if you don't want to if you don't have jars and you don't want to put it in a jar perfectly fine that's the water that it had you just make sure that um, you put more water if it needs to I didn't need to put any I actually left it for nine hours because I fell asleep I supposed to turn it off at 12 and I turned it off at 108 so I had a little bit longer but you see it's very easy to do it just takes time to do it but it's perfectly delicious do recommend don't forget to click subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so check that down in the description box for the YouTube on me meet up group playlist for the whole crop tower and thank you very very much for watching and I'll see you next time Bye.